Hey everyone, and welcome back to Film Focus. If you mention Christopher Mintz Plus, most people ask, who? If, however, you mention McLovin, most people go, oh, that guy. More of a household face than a household name, Jewish-American actor Christopher Mintz Plus is most well known for his iconic role in the coming-of-age classic film from 2007, Superbad. Most of us know and endear the 29-year-old actor for his nerdy and frantic character portrayal of Fogel, better known by his fake ID, McLovin. It was only after his appearance in Neighbors 2, supporting Zac Efron and Seth Rogen, that Mintz Plus more or less stopped appearing in major movies. But why can't this household face seem to find his way back to the big screen? Typecasting. McLovin forever. Typecasting is when a character is seen in the same role over and over again, or when they become a stereotype of a particular role. Typecasting of any kind can be a career death sentence in Hollywood because it takes away from the diversity of the roles any actor can play. Maybe it's safe to say that, unfortunately for him, Christopher Mintz Plus is typecast as McLovin. It would seem that being known as the living embodiment of a character can be a blessing and a curse. Sure, it rocketed Mintz Plus into the realm of superstardom and secured his face as a recognizable icon of the American film scene, but it also means that when moviegoers see his face, it is forever attached to the memory of McLovin. Maybe one day he will be able to escape those moments in time, but chances are that Superbad was the smash hit that will follow him around for the duration of his career. As long as he is acting, he will forever be known as McLovin. That probably isn't the most convenient thing when he goes to auditions. If he is aiming for more serious roles that don't involve him being a nervous wreck of a nerd, Christopher Mintz Plus has a long way to go to convince producers and inspire confidence in the versatility of his acting so that maybe one day he can get out from under the shadow of McLovin. Right now, there aren't many big roles in Hollywood casting for McLovin types, so maybe it's easier for him to get creative and find other things to do. Number 9. TV Career Christopher Mintz Plus also has a career doing different roles on television shows. He has had various recurring roles on shows like Friend Me, Flaked, and a show that's wildly hated by critics, The Great Indoors. Perhaps the actor now decided that he prefers to shoot these TV roles instead of more film roles. It would allow him to reach a variety of audiences and keep him out of the Hollywood acting scene when it comes to major pictures. Although he is still relatively young, he has to make sure that he can still remain a versatile actor. It seems that after his role as Red Mist, better known as the mother in the 2007 comic book film Kick-Ass, Christopher Mintz Plus took a huge step back from the big screen. In 2011, he went on to play a supporting role in Fright Night, a reboot of the 1985 horror classic. After that, he appeared as himself in the star-studded comedy This Is The End, alongside names like Michael Cera, Chris Rock, and Emma Watson. In between filming various TV shows as well, Mintz Plus found a new stage in front of the mic as he switched gears and went into voice acting. Over the past eight years, Christopher Mintz Plus has become a fixture who permanently voices fish legs in Pixar's popular children's franchise, How to Train Your Dragon. Because TV shows can be either hit or miss, every chance this actor takes on a role in a new show, he risks his reputation. Why would he go from playing a superhero with a ridiculous and offensive name to suddenly voicing kids' cartoons is a mystery that only Christopher Mintz Plus can solve. It definitely hints to him being a wild card and a potentially risky hire for Hollywood producers. Number 8. Tough Act to Follow Hollywood might not know what to do with him. Despite the trend of movies getting progressively darker, Christopher Mintz Plus is also the voice of a children's show character. It just might be difficult to find the perfect role for someone who is known by a swear word and also by the voice from a Saturday morning cartoon. Hollywood directors might not understand his skill set. They might be apprehensive to give him a chance at the highly challenging role because they are unsure of his capabilities to bring their vision to the big screen. It may even be that his agent suggests that he stay out of the limelight. Either way, this actor's resume is strange, to say the least, and his publicity leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to answering questions as to why he has selected the roles and characters that he has played so far in his career. Number 7. Private Life Feast your eyes on the glitz and glam that we know as Instagram, and then search for Christopher Mintz Plus. Anyone who considers themselves to be familiar with social media would expect a celebrity with this kind of clout to be surrounded by stars and luxury 24-7. To the contrary, Mintz Plus seems to prefer a private life. He seems like he's enjoying his privacy and being a regular guy. Some people just want to be young and wild and free, and maybe Mintz Plus is just trying to enjoy what's left of his youth in peace and quiet. Number 6. Music Scene Add music to the list of things that takes Christopher Mintz Plus away from acting. His latest musical venture with his band Main Man is where he spends his time when he isn't dealing with auditions or shooting dates. 
he doesn't seem too interested in giving up his music hobby anytime soon. His band practice, rehearsal, and any kind of extracurricular activity can cause schedule conflicts with production dates. This is something that obviously can cause issues when anyone is looking for their next big role on the Hollywood scene. Number 5. Big Face, No Name The guy's name is not well known. When you think of a big-ticket Hollywood star, you tend to think of names like Brad Pitt or Johnny Depp. Even Jonah Hill rings a much bigger bell than the name Christopher Mintz Plus. Major budget Hollywood films tend to put actors on the front line who people will recognize by name, so that when you and your friends sit down and talk about going to see it, it will be much more persuasive. You can always say, that guy from Superbad, but there's the problem. Technically, if the producers for that movie hire him, it could mean that their movie would be advertising another movie in the process. Number 4. What a mother f From the outside looking in, Hollywood stars can seem nice and give the impression that they live perfect lives. However, if you take a closer look and pay a little attention, you can realize that that isn't always the case. According to Jonah Hill's account of what went down on the Superbad set, it seems that Christopher Mintz Plus was extremely chatty and combative. Jonah Hill did not like him and immediately asked the directors to replace him. Talent is one thing, but showing off and being an impolite, argumentative, and generally rude jerk won't get you very far in the professional world. But in this case, the more Jonah Hill begged and pleaded not to work with him, the more the directors and producers dug their heels in and fought to make sure that Christopher Mintz Plus was part of the squad. It goes without saying that news and rumors in Hollywood travel fast, and taking a risk of working with a selfish person who can upset the course of your whole production isn't something worth chancing a multi-million dollar budget over. Number 3. It's a Full Circle Judging by the list of films that Christopher Mintz Plus has been a part of, it seems that he likes to keep his circle closely tight-knit. When you see him, usually people like Jonah Hill and Seth Rogen aren't far off in the production credits. When you roll with the same crew, you can really limit yourself from expanding your network. It doesn't make sense for Hollywood producers to try and snatch him away from the people he is already working with. This kind of all-in-the-family attitude can be what's keeping him from branching out to new roles in Hollywood. In the old days, Shakespeare had his theater troops. And in these days, Tim Burton has tried to resurrect the concept by rehashing the same actors repeatedly. Let's face it, that gimmick gets old quickly. Sometimes you need a fresh face to mix things up and keep movies interesting. It's no fun watching a new film and seeing the same formulaic mashup of actors over and over again. Christopher Mintz Plus needs to shake up his network and find a new crew of actors to roll with. Or he could continue to kick his career squarely in the balls by making sure that he stays with the same guys for the rest of his career. It doesn't help that he has essentially no consistent publicity out there about him. Number 2. No Publicity Living a secluded and private life is not a bad thing in and of itself. However, when you are a celebrity, you need a certain amount of scandal and exposure to make sure that you can stay relevant in the public eye. Christopher Mintz Plus has taken the celebrity private life to the extreme. There's barely any publicity about him online. You never hear about him in the news. Essentially, there isn't much for people to feel connected to and continue following him about. Maybe that's the point he's trying to prove, but it could be hurting his career in the long run. Because of this, and unfortunately for him, most people aren't really inclined to follow someone who seems like they don't have much going on. Movie budgets hire star power for the devoted fans, for how recognizable they are by name. Of course, for Hollywood, the more attention, the better. If people don't see you often, they tend to forget about you. But it seems that Christopher Mintz Plus is continually pushing the envelope of what we regular people can call celebrity by deliberately and stubbornly planting his feet in the sanctuary of his private life. He may never decide to come out of his shell, and that's okay. When Hollywood comes looking for drama and outrageous antics, at the very least, they know not to come knocking at his door. Number 1. Secret Projects While we weren't looking, Christopher Mintz Plus has taken on two more productions. He could be doing more behind the scenes, but we don't know until he just pops up one day on the big screen. He is scheduled to appear in a supporting role in an action film scheduled for release in 2020. It's not the first action film he'll be playing a part in. Think about it for a second, and you might recognize him from the cult film adaptation of the comic series Kick-Ass. He starts off in the first film innocently enough as Chris D'Amico, an ultra-wealthy heir with way too much time on his hands and a super weird superhero obsession. As intended, he was more than just kind of a douche as Red Mist, a superhero turned anti-hero that tried stealing some of Kick-Ass's thunder just to see if he'd want to work together. Eventually, the Red Mist and Kick-Ass ended up butting heads, which led to murder and, well, the gory and disturbing ending. Spoiler alert! Red Mist gets mauled within an inch of his life by his own pet shark. 
Needless to say, Christopher Mintz Plus didn't stop his role in this action-packed series there. For the sequel and alleged final film, Red Mist evolved into a vengeful and very wealthy supervillain known as the Mother f 